So today we'd like to share an improvement that Alan from Molding made. He noticed that the min-max Kanban system on the ramp was not working as designed. A min-max system works by having two bins that hold the exact same material. The idea is to take material from one bin and then when it runs out it reveals a signal to cut new stock and refill the bin. In the meantime the user then shifts over to the remaining bin which is full and then begins to use that material. This gives the person who is responsible for restocking the item time to restock without the user ever running out of material. The idea is to make sure the min-max levels are set just high enough to ensure the material never runs out. But we also don't want to set the levels too high, which would cause the stock to sit around for a long period of time before use, which could then lead to certain ways such as defects or extra transportation and motion. If people are not properly trained on how min-max bins work, they may have a tendency to pull from the wrong bin, as in this case. The result is a reduction of stock in both bins at the same time, and this leads to the Kanban signal to restock being triggered too late, because the minimum level is much lower than it was designed to be. This can then lead to the user waiting on material to arrive before they can continue production. So, to help prevent users from taking from the wrong bin, Alan had some visual aids made. Some signs were attached to the crossbar ropes that give clear instructions not to take material from specific bins and what to do when the bin in use runs out of stock. These signs can then be easily transferred over to the partnered bin when appropriate. And Nancy identified the waste of waiting and possible defects during the process of applying miter joint molded profiles to their clipped face frames. It is important to set the machine to the correct setting depending on what face frame style is being processed. The problem is that it's difficult to remember which setting is the correct one. If the wrong one is applied, it will ruin the style and it would have to be recut. Or the user may have to run a test piece to find out which profile is the correct one, which causes both waiting and extra motion. So Nancy had a simple solution. A sign was applied to the machine so that the user can easily be guided as to which setting should be applied to the appropriate workpiece being processed. Question, have you taken a moment to fix something that bugs you lately? If there's something that bugs you and causes any of the eight wastes, it's worth taking a few minutes to improve it. You'll be happy you did, and so will everyone else who no longer has to deal with that bug in the system. Jocko, I am a chronic excuse maker. How do I stop making excuses and get things done? <laughs> the chronic excuse maker. How do you stop making excuses? This is actually pretty simple. And I said it the other day, and you have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. You don't have time. That's a lie. You don't have support. That's a lie. You don't have the equipment or the gear. Lies. You don't, you don't know the best way. Who cares? That's a lie. Or you're too old or you're too young. Of course you're too old or too young. Lie. And there's, you're too busy. Sure you are. That's a lie. And you're too tired, or you're too sore, or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies, lies, lies. And the list goes on and on and on. And it doesn't stop if you don't make it stop. So recognize. Recognize. 
the excuses are not valid. They aren't. They're trumped up. They're conjured up. They're fabricated. They're lies. And how do you stop the lies? You stop the lies with the truth. The truth. The truth will set you free. The truth will stand and the truth will deliver you from procrastination and laziness and the downward spiral that comes with a lack of discipline. So don't believe the lies, believe the truth. And the truth is, you have time, you have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. So cast out the lies, burn them down. And listen to the truth. Then live the truth and go out and get it 